What's going on guys? Today is a gloomy day. I'm trying the Alani. Never had it before, but I don't have any Starbucks today and I'm really busy at work and I didn't feel like driving to Starbucks. So I had this in the fridge because I wanted to try it. It's all right. It's definitely sweet. It's no sugar, but you know, it has like the artificial sweeteners. The flavor is good. It's just not something that I typically, like I'm not an energy drink drinker. I guess it's better than uh, like Monster or like sugar-free Red Bull or something. I think this has like some vitamins or BCAAs or something. Uh, biotin, B6, and B12. 200 milligrams of caffeine. So hopefully that's the, uh, the pick-me-up I need. Anyway... Today is Friday, September 27th. I barely recorded this week. I actually had a pretty bad week, honestly. But this is the beauty of documenting everything. I'm not only transparent with myself and real with myself, but I'm also transparent with you guys. So Tuesday, September 24th, I weighed in up at 251.4 pounds. I had 254 grams of protein, 120 grams of fat, 117 grams of carbs, totaling at 2,573 calories for the day. So I was over my calories. I did gym that day and I walked over 18,000 steps. Yeah. When I go in the office, I'm walking. And then also when I go to the gym, I'm walking to the gym, walking in the gym, walking home from the gym, then walking my dog. So I definitely do get, um, I try my best to get a good amount of steps in. The next day, Wednesday, I weighed in at 251.2 pounds. I only tracked a couple of meals on Wednesday um, because I ended up going out to dinner after work with some colleagues, which destroyed me. Like I was not able to track that dinner. So from what I did track, I ate 1,330 calories. I did not gym and I walked uh, almost 17,500 steps on Wednesday. Yesterday, I did not weigh myself, I did not go to the gym, and I barely tracked the food I ate yesterday. I think I got like my lunch, and that's it. Um, I did walk over 16,000 steps, but yesterday I just didn't feel like doing anything. And also, if you can tell, I haven't recorded all week because I just didn't feel like recording. Friday, I weighed in at a whopping 252 pounds. I feel like I'm just coming right back to the starting point. And that is undoubtedly the result of a week of just lackluster, non-existent discipline. I gymmed like once or twice this week. I barely tracked my macros. I slept like crap every night. I wasn't getting my seven to eight hours of sleep. I think the only consistent thing I did all week was walk <laughs> over 10,000 steps. But that's all on me. I can't change the past. I'm not going to dwell on the past. I just have to, you know, lock back in. This goes back to a little bit of what I was saying before. Going on vacation and a break from routine can be awesome for a lot of people. But for some people like myself who struggle with self-control and already struggles with discipline, it's hard to get out of vacation mode and get back to the grind, back into the mindset that I had before I went on these vacations. Today, for sure, I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm definitely gonna track all of my meals today and hopefully this weekend. So because I had a week of fun and no discipline, my weekend is going to be super strict. I'm going to grind here for a little bit. Peace. This is going to be my first meal of the day. A whole pack of ground chicken. That's 100 grams of protein right out the gate. A whole pack of turkey bacon. Four slices of cheddar. 200 grams total in blueberries and strawberries. And then two slices of this uh, multi-grain bread. So everything here is going to be over 1600 calories guaranteed. I'm going to have the macros somewhere. A lot of people might have their own opinion, but to me, this is super balanced. I'm getting my carbs, I'm getting fats, and I'm definitely getting my proteins. And yeah, I'm eating the whole pack of turkey bacon. The macros are great. There's about eight servings. So for the whole pack, it's only like, you know, uh, 16 grams of fat. There's no carbs. It's definitely gonna be high on the sodium when you do the whole pack, but just drink water. If you're drinking a gallon a day, look, I already, it's not even two o'clock and I'm almost done already. 
and this is my first my first jug. So if I have another one of these by the end of the day, I'm already at a gallon. So I'm not really worried about sodium. What's going on, family? It is 7.30 p.m. I just got home from the gym. I walked to the gym. I don't even know what I did, like shoulder day. Some, one of these movements. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to get warm. And then I got in the seated lateral raise. So I did seated lateral raise for four sets. Then I did seated shoulder press on the machine for four sets. I usually like to do the barbell, but that was taken. So I just did it on the seated machine. And then I finished off with four sets of weighted dips, which were killer. Like I was really going deep on those bad boys. And then I walked home. Look at that, over 12,000 steps and it's 7.30. In case y'all don't be believing me, you know, I got people hitting me up like, so you did 16,000 steps or 17,000 steps? I'm being honest. I could even show like my fitness app log of the steps I'm hitting on a daily basis. Because I ate so much on my first meal of the day, I basically got all of the protein I needed and I'm not really that hungry. So I'm just gonna finish off with a couple hundred grams of Greek yogurt, some fruit, some raw honey, and then I'm gonna call it a day. Maybe if I need, I'll have a protein shake, but I doubt it. Um, If anything, I'll probably just have a protein bar. That is going to wrap it up for Friday and also wrap it up for I don't want to be fat anymore. Episode 10. Peace. Uh -huh.